For me, it's, it's become a habit. I think if you do anything for long enough, it becomes a habit. At 56, Angelique Miles looks like a fresh-faced 20-something-year-old who just stepped off the runway. But what's even more impressive than her accomplished career is her ability to maintain her youthful looks and striking beauty over the years. In fact, Angelique now looks more radiant and beautiful than she did in her younger years. I love skincare. I love, I love all of it. How did she do it? What's her secret? Well, you're in luck because she's spilling all the beans in this video. I continue to work out, but worked out differently, worked out harder, I did tougher workouts. Get ready to discover the seven secrets to staying in shape and conquering the aging process. Trust us, you don't want to miss a single second of this inspiring story. Born on August 14, 1966, in the city that never sleeps, New York, Angelique's career in the music industry started out with a slow and steady rhythm, but soon picked up a faster pace as she signed some of the biggest names of the 90s, such as Timbaland, Missy Elliott, Lil' Kim, Busta Rhymes, and many others. But Angelique's path to success wasn't without its challenges. At just 16 years old, she was dealt a brutal blow to the face that required 150 stitches. To add to that, she had been dealing with psoriasis all over her face and body since the tender age of 13. These struggles took a toll on her self-esteem, and she despised her skin in her teenage years. Angelique's early days as a music executive were filled with all the luxurious perks you can imagine. Exotic vacations, private jets, and extravagant parties. But as we all know, life can be unpredictable. And soon, the digital age of music threatened to take her out of business. So after the last door slammed in my face and I'm still like not making any money. Despite these challenges, Angelique remained optimistic and decided that she could quickly find another job. However, things spiraled out of control and she found herself sinking into a deep hole of financial and personal problems. The stress of it all started to take a toll on her health and she began to look older than her real age. It was then that she realized she needed to make some drastic lifestyle changes in the areas of her career, fitness, and diet. Speaking on how she began working out, this former executive had this to say, when the last door slammed in my face and I was still not making any money, I knew it was time for a change. She revealed in an interview, I asked myself, what do I really wanna do? And the answer was clear. I wanna wake up every day, work out and practice self-care and wellness. That's what I wanted to do. At the age of 40, she started sharing her fitness journey and routine on Instagram and quickly gained a massive following. It was then that she realized she could turn her passion for fitness into a career. I wasn't trying to influence anyone. I was just living my life and sharing. Starting with a simple three miles for 30 days challenge, she pushed herself to new limits and discovered a love for Olympic weightlifting, push-ups, and pull-ups, things she never thought she could do before. I have to say, the three miles for 30 days challenge was the most challenging workout I've ever done, but I loved it and I stuck with it, she exclaimed. When she first started working out, she faced a common struggle, trying to maintain healthy hair and a manageable hairstyle in between sweaty workouts. But instead of giving up, she found a solution that worked for her. By using a combination of shea moisture and coconut oil and setting her hair with a Nairobi wrap lotion, she was able to keep her hair looking great even after a tough workout. And to save even more time and energy, she visits the barber every two weeks. Talk about a smart hack. Angelique does cardio every morning, Pilates twice a week, and strength training four days a week. The former music executive believes that everyone should do what they enjoy when it comes to working out. Not a fan of dancing? No problem. Angelique encourages people to choose a workout that is challenging enough to get results, but also enjoyable enough to stick with it long term. And while some people love working out in nature, Angelique is not one of them. She knows herself well enough to recognize that she's not an outdoors person. And she advises others to just find what works best for them, whether it's at the gym or outside. So whether you're a gym fanatic or a nature lover, Angelique's story reminds us that there's a fitness solution out there for everyone. You just have to find it. Are you curious about what Angelique eats to stay fit? Well, let me tell you, her eating habits have played a huge role in achieving her fitness goals, but it wasn't easy for her. There was a time when she would work out like crazy, but still eat whatever she craved. Sound familiar? But she quickly realized that in order to see real results, she needed to make some changes to her diet. Nowadays, she typically has five meals a day, with two of those meals being protein shakes. She also limits her carb intake, avoids dairy, and drinks only water. No juice allowed. And to keep her daily intake at around 1,600 calories a day, she's careful about what she puts on her plate. For breakfast, she usually has egg whites and a piece of toast. For lunch and dinner, she eats a combination of ground chicken, sweet potato, green beans, and vegetables. Her snacking options consist of fruits and proteins. When eating out, 
She sticks to fish and vegetables and water or unsweetened iced tea. Angelique still enjoys a good treat every now and then, but she's learned to indulge in moderation, usually saving her splurges for the weekends. Some of her favorites? Pizza and chocolate, of course. And to balance it all out, she makes sure to drink a gallon of water every day. So if you're going to get fit like Angelique, Take note of her healthy habits and don't forget to treat yourself every once in a while. According to Angelique, good and regular sleep is an absolute must for achieving optimal health. And we're not talking about a few hours here and there. We're talking about a solid night's sleep that leaves you feeling rested and rejuvenated. Now, Angelique admits she's had some struggles with sleep in the past. There have been times when she's woken up at 4 a.m. and couldn't fall back asleep until 5 a.m. But she's learned to prioritize sleep and make sure she's doing everything she can to get a good night's rest, whether that means adjusting her bedtime routine or investing in a better mattress. Angelique also believes in the power of meditation for calming the mind and reducing stress. With so many demands on her time and energy as a busy businesswoman, it's no wonder that she sometimes feels overwhelmed and mentally foggy. But by taking just a few minutes each day to meditate and clear her mind, she's able to feel more centered and focused on the tasks at hand. Talking about her skincare routine, Angelique had this to say, the water is a big part of it. Genetics is a big part of it. I love skincare and anything that is new on skincare. I would do that. I sweat a lot and that probably has a lot to do with skin too. I use an infrared sauna blanket, but wait, there's more. The gorgeous Angelique also spilled the beans on her love for infrared saunas, revealing that it's her secret weapon to receiving endless compliments on her radiant complexion. I sweat a lot, so that probably has a lot to do with skin too. I use um, an infrared sauna blanket. As she puts it, the infrared sauna goes deeper into the skin than a regular sauna. Over the years, Angelique has used her fitness career to inspire women especially women in their 40s and 50s. Some of the tips she shared for women who want to look as fit and glowing as her even in their 50s include, number one, don't skip Mondays. According to Angelique, Monday is the start of the work week and it's important to start strong. She works out on Monday mornings and recommends that you do too. She never skips a Monday workout and advises everyone to do the same. It sets the tone for the rest of the week and helps you to stay motivated. Number two, do what you love. One of Angelique's biggest secrets to staying in shape is doing workouts that she enjoys. She advises everyone to find what they love and what challenges them, even as something as simple as walking can make a huge difference. Don't overexert yourself and start slow. It's better to start with simpler exercises to prepare your body for more challenging ones. Consistency is key, so aim to work out at least three times a week. Number three, eliminate bad eating habits. If you wanna be fit and healthy, Angelique recommends eliminating soda, juice, carbs, such as white rice and potatoes, and sugar from your diet. Instead, drink more water and eat a balanced diet full of plenty of fruits and vegetables. Number four, embrace aging. Angelique believes that embracing aging is one of the keys to aging gracefully. She doesn't compare her present body to her body from 10 years or 20 years ago, and she advises everyone to do the same. The goal should be to be in the best shape possible at whatever age you are. Number five, avoid complacency. As we get older, it's easy to become complacent and use our age as an excuse not to exercise, but Angelique cautions against this. She faced this challenge herself when she began working out in her 40s. Her advice? Don't let your age hold you back and never become complacent. Number six, prioritize mental health. For Angelique, mental health and physical health go hand in hand. To stay consistent with your fitness routine, it's important to be in a good mental state. Prioritizing your mental health can help you avoid overeating and falling off the fitness wagon. Number seven, Develop a skincare routine. If you want to look as youthful as Angelique, she recommends developing a skincare routine that works for you. And if you're looking for an extra boost, she swears by infrared saunas. They can help with detoxification, relaxation, and even weight loss. I believe I do have nice skin, but it's not the skin I had at 30. It's not the skin. Yeah. There you have it, some of Angelique's top tips for staying fit and healthy even in your 50s. Give them a try and see how they work for you.